To begin the bulk editing process, the first thing we have to do is to export our symbologies and our definitions to an XML file. Well, if I right click on this folder, I don't have an import export option on my definitions or my symbologies. This is a feature that we are not providing to the general public, but rather making it available through this video series to people involved with the administration portion of our workspace workset development environment. This particular variable, as you can see, underscore civil, underscore standards, underscore import export equals one. If that is added to your workspace environment, then when you come back into the product and then select the right click, you will now have an import and export capability for feature definitions as well as feature symbologies. This import-export process will generate a XML file that contains all of the symbologies categories as well as all of the feature definition categories with the exception of nodes, conduits, and drainage areas which are not currently supported in the import export process. Instead of putting that variable in the general user workspace environment, I just simply created a text file and put it on my local applications folder. I just called it feature definition import export. I did fdie.cfg for short and put this only on my local machine and not made it actually part of the workspace to enable this functionality. In general, this is not something you want to provide access to for the normal users, but more of an administrative type application. The second part of preparation is to download and unzip the application that we're going to need to do this bulk editing process. The download link will be provided on this particular video's entry in our Learn server. You'll be able to download this zip file and there's no install here it's simply multiple files if I un extract those files here it's going to add these to my feature definitions which obviously we will remove these later when we're done I'm done with the zip file I don't need that anymore and there's just an executable with some additional program files that it needs to process and so those are the two things we need to set the configuration variable and we need to download the application and unzip it to prepare everything for the bulk editing process which we'll begin to cover in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.